desiblitz.com Then people have was a revolutionary my ancestral home is in punjab which is just 2 hours drive from jallianwala bagh and uh, so we have grown up hearing stories about sardar udham singh shahid bhagat singh the jallianwala bagh massacre so for me it was a very surreal moment to just know that you know uh, life's closing that circle where like you know as a kid you used to hear these stories and now you're going to get an opportunity to be a part of that world and uh, you know live uh, live the life of sardar udham so for me it was it was really very special and uh, i wouldn't have missed an opportunity like that for anything par agar ab kuch nahi kiya na to agle 100 saal tak in angrezon ke niche rahenge andar mein jab enter karoge na to ye dikhana he is kind of an unsung hero uh, he is not really an elaborated historical figure in our history books so uh, if tomorrow by watching the film if people resonate with the film connect to the film this is how probably they're going to be remembering sardar udham singh stories and sardar udham singh and that is a big responsibility uh, so you have to uh, you know do your work with utmost sensitivity and with the utmost uh, sense of responsibility and utmost truthfulness uh, and that brings its own challenges when you're performing and you know when you when you're enacting as sardar udham singh you can't be frivolous about your performance you can't be random about it there is always there is always a daira around around you know you can't you can't really jump out of that uh, fencing i see death no sleep in years monday ko church friday ko cinema hall or saturday's ko club the only evidential um, document about sardar udham singh is from the moment that he assassinated michael odoyer in 1940 then his imprisonment for 3 months and then he was hanged in on 31st of July 1940 so whatever evidential uh, documents that you have of sardar udham singh is is the picture that came out in the newspapers the next day from outside caxton hall and then his letters from the prison his uh, court session speeches that's it that's how you actually know for sure that sardar udham singh existed but before that his existence before that is all a mystery if you pick out any other book or many books where it could be a statement it could be one sentence or a paragraph or a chapter everything that is said about sardar udham singh is you know we heard that sardar udham singh did this it is said that he was present there it is there's nothing concrete so to kind of uh, you know chalk down a character like this who who was changing identities who was changing names who was traveling all across the globe he was in the us he was in london germany spain russia india it 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 was uh, it was a little tricky to kind of track him down on paper first and then once you had that bullet points and then you kind of were chalking down your own emotional graph around it of course i relied a lot on uh, the vision of sujit sarkar because he's been living with the film for over 20 years you know uh, when 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 he was coming from delhi to bombay to make films this was the film he wanted to make and uh, i have never met a person who's as a uh, hero thorough with his research about the indian freedom movement and as emotional as him so i could i could safely fall back on 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 like you know fall back to sujit sarkar for that is the next target one attack one was slow in our history books and in our films what we end up concentrating on is what they did in terms of what their actions were more so what they were trying to say or the kind of country they were envisioning or the kind of world they were envisioning at that point of time 100 years back you know for the simple words like freedom and equality which they used to talk about we as citizens of a country we feel they were talking about the freedom of the people of this country but they were not they were like they were world citizens they were global citizens they were talking about the freedom of the entire world they were talking about each and every person in the world feeling free in the world feeling equal because sardar udham singh had gone to us he was in africa germany he had seen oppression across the globe and he was against oppression and he wanted he was talking about freedom for everyone and that for me also was a revelation uh because your history books your films 
they all condition you to think about freedom only limited to your own country so so these were the things that you know stayed with me and i really hope that they stay with the audience after watching the film revolution is a dangerous game we need to set an example sir uh, there has been a curiosity now from the maker side as well as the audience to kind of explore our own history and find out the heroes and the heroic stories from our own history and the need to celebrate them and the need to discuss them and keep them alive uh which i which i as an audience i kind of like i i i'm i'm a full supporter of that you know because i am a sucker for uh, films which are based on true events um uh, not just like indian films but international films as well the moment it says based on true events they've they've got me you know so so i guess i guess uh, we are we are in this phase where we are trying to explore our own past and uh, our our own heroes who they sing to you yes frank was it yes your uden sing yes what's your real name murder ko protest manega ya protest ko murder manega aapka british law mujhe ek revolver chahiye perfect day uh getting to sleep uh till you know some good hours in the day and uh, not setting not getting like not not wanting to set up an alarm in the morning um having uh, you know spending time with my mom with my family i don't get to do that when you know the promotions are on and a film is due to release so it gets very very hectic but i hope after the film releases i'll get that day where i get to spend time with my family and my friends i fight different way tum chale jao yahan se agar humne yahan london mein british ke heart pe kuch kar diya hamara message pure world tak jayega there are uh, there are a couple of films that i shot which are completely different from being biopics they are uh, romantic comedies i'm dancing i'm it's all comedy and then of course i'll be getting into again uh, a biopic on sam manik show uh collaborating with Meghna Gulzar and Ronnie Scott mm-hmm. again uh 